A person's life is forever changed after a drunk or drugged driving crash. But for the first time here in Maine, a specially trained Mothers Against Drunk Driving or MAD advocate has been helping victims and survivors channel their grief into both hope and healing. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee explains. 28 years ago last month, Nicole Hutchinson was getting ready to meet up with her little sister Darcy in their hometown of Holton to plan her wedding to her high school sweetheart. But then Nicole got a call that her sister, who was living in Connecticut, died in a car crash. The hardest thing I've ever had to do outside of burying her was to go find my brother and, and tell him that our little sister had died. Darcy was just 21 years old. The man responsible for her death was a three-time drug driving offender. Connecticut's Mothers Against Drug Driving, or MAD, reached out with support and resources, something that was not available for Darcy's family back home in Maine. When I needed support, I didn't have that in Maine. The tragedy, though, galvanized Nicole to start a MAD chapter in Maine in 2016 and organize Walk Like MAD events in Holton to raise awareness and funds to eliminate drunk and drug driving. She also worked to hire a trained advocate to help victims and survivors in her home state for the very first time. Victims are feeling scared and they're lonely and angry and confused and they feel very alone. So they need somebody to be there for them. Since coming on board in June as MADS Victim Service Specialist, Lisa Rivers has worked with dozens of loved ones. She helps survivors with funeral arrangements, access counseling and attending court sessions, services that are free and available to the public. It's not only dangerous to you, it's dangerous to everybody else on the road. Rivers also works with police officers like Sergeant Mallory Clayton with the East Millinocket Police Department. Clayton has volunteered with MAD since college. According to federal highway statistics, more than 40% of traffic fatalities in Maine this year involved alcohol. Clayton says the Millinocket area has seen an increase in alcohol-related crashes and incidents over the past few months. In the last few days, we got a few OUIs. One of them was a female, and she ended up blowing a .19. Nicole, who now works with the MAD chapter in North Carolina, hopes Mainers will join loved ones at the Walk Like MAD event at Stearns High School in Millinocket on Saturday. Organizers hope the walk will attract more volunteers, spreading awareness in schools and communities that impaired driving is preventable. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And that Walk Like Mad event gets underway at 9 a.m. at Stearns High School right there in Millinocket. We will have much more information on our website and the New Center, Maine app.